folks, Sergeant Ken here, Army Master Fitness Trainer and proud member of the Army National Guard. Hi, Seth! Relax! That's what I'm talking about. Today we're going to talk about the full military style sit-up. You start by sitting down on the ground where your legs are bent at a 90 degree angle at the knees. Your heels are the only part of your foot that must stay on the ground. You can have your toes down, but I prefer that you point them upward because that way you can spare a little bit in your lower back by keeping this position. Your fingers are clasped in some way and they've got to be behind your head for the start position. So let's go to the start position by going all the way back down the ground with your fingers clasped and behind your head. Now normally someone will hold on to your ankles, you know, right around your ankles so that you can have some stability. You can do this alone if you just do them slowly. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. Coming up all the way until your back breaks the plane. But you don't want to ever rest on your knees. You want to kind of always keep it so that your back is somewhat upright. The repetition doesn't count until you go back down to the ground. Because remember, this is the start position. End position, boom. Now those are full repetitions right there. Now, you don't wanna go and pop your rear end on the ground to help your body go up or move your legs in such a way to help your body go up, nor do you wanna break the hand position. For a standard military style full sit up, you wanna keep it locked and come up and down as well as you can. You exhale on the way up, you breathe in on the way back. It's a great exercise. Just be conscientious about how your lower back feels. And if it starts to feel discomfort, make certain you're maintaining the uh, 90 degree angle at the knees and that you're on soft ground when you do so. So you're ready? Good. Do it now. <laughs> 